All right, we've got an IPv6 wireless network here, and um, running through this D-Link at 5 gigahertz only. Uh, we're attacking with the same old flood router attack, and the interesting thing here is the iPad Mini, which I just got today. The iPad Mini is vulnerable to this attack. You see right here, the performance shows 94% idle, lots of CPU available, but when I start this router flood, that's going to go down to zero. Come back up a little bit, and just wander around near zero, and if you wait a few seconds until it's pretty good and saturated, let me give it about another 10 seconds and we'll see if we get the maximum effect. One thing about these attacks is they're a little bit random and unreliable. What we got before was it froze up to where you couldn't even scroll. This one moves a little bit, but it moves really badly and slowly. And what's interesting is, if you hit the button to get to the desktop, often you get no response at all, but this time I'm getting a little response. The attack is kind of random, but this application is not going to launch at all, at least it didn't last time. And when you try to get to the desktop, you get very slow response if you get any at all. So the machine is again almost frozen. Sometimes it freezes completely, but there's two interesting things about this. Let's get back to the CPU percentage. You can see there's no idle CPU at all. As soon as I stop the attack, though, control C, I say. All right, got to click it. It's doing something foolish. Okay, it recovers immediately. Back up to 90% free. Now it scrolls like it ought to. This button goes snap right down. This comes up. Um, but what's even more fun is if I run this attack, there's another way to save yourself from this attack. This is 75% up to 94%. Let's run the attack again and let that burden it down to 0% free or so. We're down to 22, see what it does here. All right, way down to almost no free CPU cycles at all. Now we're going to add a second iPad to the network. The Wi Fi is turned off here, but when I turn it on, this is an iPad 3, which is somewhat less vulnerable to this attack. But all I'm going to do is add another client to my network here, which is named Hacker. It should auto-connect, and as soon as it connects, it saves this one. This one now has 40% free cycles, and now it responds again well. So adding another client waters down the attack and saves the first device. And we see the opposite thing on a wired network. We had to add a router to the network in order to kill the Mac OS X. Um, and if you had a device alone on a wired network, the attack was not powerful enough to bring down the Mac reliably. That's it.